All right guys, today we're talking about real life 3D printed parts for commercial aircraft, specifically with Airbus. 3D printing service provider Materialize has been qualified by Airbus to produce flight-ready polymer components printed using EOS's SLS printing technology. Materialize will now be getting printing parts made of flame retardant polyamide powder, PA 2241FR. This is the European aerospace giant's first dive into SLS printing with Materialize and EOS becoming the first companies approved to print parts under AirPress process specification AIPS 0307022. Now this qualification also means that the parts can be used across Airbus's entire global business, so you can expect to see this printing technology used across the company's numerous divisions. This is a huge step for additive manufacturing and the aerospace sector. EOS's PA-12 base material is the most notable for its flame retardant properties and a very high refresh rate, making it extremely cost-effective for printing flight-ready components, as there are a number of strict fire standards for doing such a thing. Now, these parts can meet several fire, smoke, and flame or toxicity requirements without the need for a secondary coat or primer. Typically, 3D printed components are used internally for air ducts and brackets and things like that, but this new material marks a major milestone for polymer 3D printing, as it's traditionally dominated by high-strength, high-temperature metals. Now, the AIPS 0307022 qualification also includes the 3D printing process itself, developed for EOS systems like the 770 polymer printer. With Airbus already having qualified Ultra 9085 for the FDM process, much like this part here printed on the FunMap Pro 410 in our shop, really, really cool material, cool stuff, Materialize now supplies the aerospace company with two flight-ready 3D printing solutions. Now, do you see yourself flying on a plane with 3D printed parts anytime soon? You probably already have without even knowing it. But let us know what you think down in the comments below. By the way, if you're liking this content, please hit that like button. It makes us feel great, lets us know you like this content. Subscribe if you want more. Now, moving on, we've got the CTO of Materialize stating that this achievement consolidates our long-term partnership with Airbus, and it also opens up additional 3D printing applications to Airbus and its suppliers. Laser sintering is one of the most widely used 3D printing technologies and enables complex design features such as interlocking mechanisms. It's an honor for Materialize to be Airbus's first manufacturer for the technology. Now, Materialize has already been printing components for Airbus over the past few years, starting with the A350 line of aircraft, which uses around 100 different flight-ready components, or amounting to about 26,000 total parts printed annually. Now, with this new qualification, Airbus is able to print end-use components for other aircraft in their lineup, such as the 320, 330, and A340. And Marcus Glasser, Senior Vice President of EMEA over at EOS, adds, We are very proud that after an extensive testing program, Airbus qualified the material and processes for usage globally by the company. It underlines the high maturity and constant quality of EOS powder and systems and continues to emphasize the relevance of industrial 3D printing in both polymers and metals. As we seem to keep stressing this week, guys, additive manufacturing in the aerospace sector is a huge and growing market that's seeing many different solutions from FDM to metal printing and technologies like SLS. Over here in the States, Boeing has previously qualified Stratasys' PEC-based Antero 800NA filament for flight-ready parts, and we also previously covered Hexcel, releasing an electrically conductive polymer based on the carbon fiber composite material specifically for aircraft 3D printing. Their Hexpec EM was designed specifically to meet static electricity management, electromagnetic shielding, and radiation absorption needs for flight-ready components. Now, if you're interested in high temp materials like Peak or Ultim, performance polymers, definitely hit us up on our website. This is all we've been doing for the last four years. Or give us a call. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.